So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here today is a sudden review of this 2023 Mitsubishi Strada 2.4 GL manual. You all know from my Strada reviews, I own the previous generation of this Strada GL 4x4. It's so good that I'm reviewing a base model again. Because the Stradas I keep reviewing are the Strada Athlete 4x4 and the never-ending GLS 4x2s. So yeah, so good to finally review a base model again. And I never knew this about the base model actually. So I thought it was the cargo version that only gets this plastic cladding up. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird, but I understand why it was put together like this in the first place because it's the base model. It's supposed to be your daily workhorse, aka your Harabas. All the specs here, ground clearance and everything, as well the payload capacity, put it all there. It's exactly the same throughout. As well on the side profile, there is no side step, surprisingly, and you get steel wheels. I don't mind owning this steel wheels, it still looks good. So powering this thing is still the same from every starter you get. So show you that, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, it's a 2.4 liter turbocharged diesel engine that produces 178 horsepower and 430 Nm of power. I hope I'm correct. <laughs> So here now in the interior of the Mitsubishi Strada GL 4x4 manual Sounds exactly the same throughout the Strada lineup oh, I miss this interior <laughs> It just works, that's all I have to say because it's the base model, you know everything functions here and there Although I'm a bit spoiled with the GT Athlete because that's the spec I want Wait, before we continue here in the interior I did notice a few more details on the exterior So on the side mirrors, they're all blacked out There's no repeaters on them As I said as well earlier, there's no side step for this very base model But you still get mud flaps at least And the door handles are just black plastic Compared to the chrome or the gloss black of the higher trim variant So here in the interior, yeah, I miss this It feels exactly the same like with the previous gen Strada for some reason I'll I freaking love it. I feel so at home here again. Manual everything here. So, here the door card, everything is plastic. There's no leather here whatsoever. You get cubby spaces and bottle holders on each side. My big water jug fits. And then here the left side of the dashboard, you have an air conditioning vent. Blank buttons. That's it. And then here in the middle, you have an analog tachometer, analog speedometer with a very, very small LCD display in the middle. And the instrument cluster looks like the older expanders or the current expander if you don't count the cross like, like this one. And then steering wheel. Oh, yep. Polyurethane. Uh, not much squish in it. And it's a steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a steering wheel. So here in the middle, you have air conditioning vents again, one din radio, and then air conditioning controls. And then further down below, an array of blank buttons, a 12 volt socket, and surprisingly, there is a USB port. Good job, Mitsubishi on that. And way down below, you have a place for your phone, fits my phone perfectly, and the six speed manual transmission. Ah, I love the touch of the gear levers. Feels like more on the leather side of things while well, the wrap is leather but on the gear lever itself it's a nice cut that out <laughs> yeah so compared with our previous gen uh, strada gl 4x4 manual this has an additional six gear now and feels as notchy as before i remember my favorite gears was third and fourth because when you change on fourth to third ah, it's so it's so planted when you get to drive this. I already know how this drives. Yeah, it's still so good. And I know this drives exactly the same like the previous gen startup is because of this clutch. It's still deep and the bite of it is like very weird, like near to the high side of things. But I got used to it pretty quickly since yet again we own two Stradas. And then glove box. Oh, it's pretty big. Very good. And unlike our previous generation Stradas, where to activate 4 high or 4 low, there's another gear shift beside the manual transmission itself. So this one now carries like with the current Stradas, it's just the swivel wheel. Okay, that's a nice addition at least with this 2023 model. So you have a manual handbrake here, two cup holders. It might be water jug still, surprisingly. Okay. Then center console box, there's two of them. So here's a small one, then underneath is your main one. Just as deep as before. And then up above, there's nothing. And then sun visor, ticket clip holder, pretty much it. Plus an extend, like all Stardust. Alright, that's fine. Another thing I noticed compared with the previous gen, there's no more rear view mirror stock. So it 
looks frameless now. Alright, good touch on that too. Yeah, also going back to the seats, it doesn't look like the... <laughs> doesn't look like the one that of the GLS variants. To be honest, looks a little bit better. And correct me if I'm wrong, I've seen these seats before on an LT100, so feels exactly the same as that. Yeah, so that's about it here in front of this the uh, GL 4x4 manual. Let's go to the rear. So, this fabric seat seems so way, way softer than that of the GLS, surprisingly. Especially this middle cushion for the seat. So, if I sit here, feet room, knee room, and head room is exactly the same throughout the lineup. But I'm stunned with this middle seat. I'd rather sit here in the middle if I was here in the rear, to be honest. It's so very, very soft. And here in the middle, it's blank, but at least you still have two map pockets on each side. And the door cards, again, it's all plastic, but you still have cup holders. Still fits my big water jug. And my big surprise with this GL 4x4 manual, I forgot all about the light, is this, that you still have a central armrest. That I don't remember in our Strada GL 4x4 because I was mostly here at front. Sadly, my big water jug doesn't fit here anymore. But like our previous generation Strada, pull this latch up and you can still hide your Christmas gifts here in the back. I seriously miss our Stradas now. Would I want as a base model though? Probably because this one costs 1,048,000 pesos which is freaking what affordable for a pickup and comparing for example a GLS 4x2 which cost 1,395,000 pesos it's a big leap already but knowing our experience with Stradas this is still one of for me the most balanced and probably the best pickups out there if we're not talking about rest of the competition mind you remember that so yeah so if this walk around review looks like a mess because <laughs> this was a sudden review i barely see one of these guys in the showrooms especially in bgc there's barely been base models offered that's why this camera as well has been all over the place i didn't have my tripod with me too so that concludes my walk around review of this strada gl 4x4 i'd like to thank sir leo v his contact details will be right here and to mitsubishi gateway motors here at sm mega ball located at the base Floor. There's also one more show located at Capital Commons. So apologies guys, so if this is not your usual walk around style review, remember this was a sudden review. Go right ahead and buy one of these because this is worth a steal. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more walk around reviews. The normal ones. Bye bye.